Dead? Yeah. Dead? Yes! Like dead, dead. Yes! Proper dead, not living not dead. Not living dead, yes. Are you sure? Yes! I mean, there's no mistake. Oh, there's no mistake. It's not a joke. It's not a joke because it's not funny. It's not funny because it's not a joke. If it was a joke, it would be funny. Not hiding? Not hiding, dead. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, exactly. What are we going to do? This gang of like elite teenagers in their high school and I think the reason why they come together is because they have nowhere else to go because nobody else will um, sort of take them into their group. They don't have they don't have the sort of social ability to I think stay friends with anyone else because they're all quite headstrong and quite obviously strong characters and that means that they all stick together because they have nowhere else to go basically. Ricky is one of those characters who she quite likes, like she's quite a fighter, like she, you wouldn't really mess with her around school and I think she wants to be headstrong and she wants to take over this group that she's in but she doesn't quite know how and she doesn't quite have the ability or the power or influence to take over but she still wants to be part of the in crowd. Leah I think is a bit of a nerd, I think she's a bit of a social recluse. She doesn't really spend much time with sort of the main group that are featured in the play. She spends a lot of her time like isolated with her friend Phil. Um, and when she's with her friend Phil, she's a massive chatterbox. She never shuts up. What? Like I talk too much? You sitting there in absolute silence thinking, Mia talks too much. I wish she'd just shut up once in a while because don't, you know, judge, you know, because all right, I do. I talk too much. So shoot me, Phil. So kill me. Really tricky. We've done lots of research and lots of people watching, just trying to get sort of like it's the it's the the simple things that are actually the difficultest. Like the way you say stuff, it's relatively easy to imagine how they say it, but it's more like your physicality. So how you how you walk and how you project yourself compared to other people in the group. That's different. Well, I think. It's all about, you need to observe a lot more, I think, with maybe more classical things or whatever. You look at the script, you work out the language and stuff, but I think this sort of thing, because the way the script is written is so natural and he's written it like how normal people do speak every day, I think it's made it more about the character and who it is and how you can observe and how you can research and things like that. Um, I think what's really exciting about it is it's being performed theatre in the round, which you don't very often see, like, in Norwich, so I think for that to be in Norwich and for it to be so, it's going to be very atmospheric the way the set's going to be set out, it's set in a forest and it's, it's a dark comedy so there are aspects that are funny but I think it will be instances where it's an uncomfortable funny so I think that just makes it more, more capturing and more cool to watch.